Oh, it's obviously a great segue. I mean, look, DeSantis is going to, his pocket is wide open. There is nobody he will not take money from if it's going to, because he thinks he's going to be the next president. And you know what? It's probably not the worst thought in the world because he's got a real shot at this if Trump steps aside. And right now, everything in the state of Florida is for sale. It really is. And that's why you know, he does this massive tax break for businesses. And who's who's getting the bill? We're getting the bill. We're getting this new sales tax that is only going to hurt working class people and all for the massive ego of our current governor. Right. I, I, I'm putting a lot of uh, I'm putting a lot of faith in Nikki knocking really? him out of the race. And I think if he loses uh, the governorship. That's it for his presidential. Oh, I agree. Well, I, look, I look. If it comes down to it, and and she's the person who they put up. Um, I mean, yeah, I definitely support her a whole hell of a lot over him. We were really hoping that Anna Eskamani would would get in, and we would have somebody um, more progressive than Nikki. And and Nikki's okay. I mean, sh she's pretty corporate, but you know, it's. I think My, it's she can get this area where I'm at right now. And we, we elected Matt Gates. Yeah, there is um, that. <laughs> so that's, she has a chance of, of knocking him out. By we, you don't mean you don't. in particular. By we, you mean the collective we, not yeah, you. No, not only that. Right. But, yeah. And she, and she <laughs> is, I mean, listen, Liv, to be fair, she is, a, when, you know, she's a statewide elected official and, and that's at the state level. You know, we've had, you know, obviously Bill Nelson was a senator, but it's been a long time since you've had a Democrat statewide in the state of Florida. I mean, this has been a Republican dominated state legislature. For a long time. Long time. Over 20 years. Chelsea, where are you? Where am I? Yeah, because then you're not in Florida. Oh, I'm in Brooklyn. Oh, okay. Brooklyn. Well, I was born there. Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah, we I go. lived. In, I, so I lived in Maryland. So I lived in Maryland for a long time. Uh, I ran. I ran for Senate in Maryland. Uh, I am from the D.C. area primarily, even though I was like born in Oklahoma. Uh, I, but I, I ended up uh, leaving jail last year, um, and all of my stuff while I was so my lawyer had some movers like grab all my stuff from my apartment and moved it uh to to a place in long island city so all my stuff was already here so i ended up just getting an apartment here and now i guess i live in new york <laughs> oh well, your stuff preceded you so basically you followed your stuff to new york yeah i followed my stuff to new york pandemic <laughs> happened couldn't move anyway we were in lockdown so i ended up you know getting an apartment here uh and I guess I'm staying here now because like I I have friends here. I have lots and lots of friends here, lots and lots of good good connections and ties with stuff. Um and I live in bed, you know, I I mean I, I probably have like 15, 20 friends like within a mile radius of here. So that's I mean that's in pretty good shape. That, that's yeah. Brooklyn for you. And, and Bo, how far are you from your closest friend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a mile away from anybody. Um <laughs> no, no. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.